off the morning. Welcome back to T3. And in today's show, we have a very sombering, sobering kind of report around the coronavirus issues and kind of how it's affecting the IT supply scenario. Now, this is going to hit everybody. And I think the first thing we need to pay special attention to and the most important factor here is the loss of human life that's going on at the moment. The Chinese government is doing a lot, um, some good, some bad, you know, uh, they're trying to do everything in their power, it would seem. I don't uh, particularly agree with how they're covering up the numbers around this scenario. They've said that more than 1,600 people have died in China um, and they've reported something like a couple, you know, tens of thousands of infections. But the reality is it's probably in the hundreds of thousands and there's entire cities and stuff of people that are being locked down and welded shut in their houses. Um, so big time uh, thoughts and prayers kind of vibe for them you know guys it's energy counts for a lot so if you guys can pay some attention to that and help with some positivity I think they definitely need it and there's videos emerging from within the city of Wuhan of the people in the city singing to each other and trying to keep their spirits up which is you know quite moving and stuff but obviously once again that just that loss of life at the moment is quite hectic. Now the infection area that they're talking about there is about 11 million people that are stuck in that city that have been quarantined off in Wuhan and uh, the outbreak levels and the infection rate is far worse than the SARS outbreak was before or H1N1 or any of the other swine or Spanish flus before that. It's dwarfed all of those kind of things quite rapidly. Our government hasn't done the best job of shutting down our airports and that kind of stuff so as a preventative I really would suggest that you guys, if you are traveling, go out and get yourself a mask. For general day-to-day -day kind of running around and stuff, you should be fine. But airports are, at the moment, are going to be a bit of a cesspool uh, chance of infection. Um, a lot of the governments are not really reacting to this because the reports are just not supporting um, a need for that reaction. At the moment, in the World Health Organization side, I think it's on stage three. Um, we'll confirm that with a graphic. Um, so it is on their radar and there is a big alert for it but it's kind of I think a lot of the time the government is trying to avoid panic um, and that's why they aren't being as forthcoming with information uh, it's obviously a, a feels bad from the preventative side but we'll just have to hope that they make the right decisions where all of these people are concerned right so how does it affect us in the IT supply department well currently the only manufacturers that have been reopened in China for the most part are your tier one manufacturers. Guys like Apple and Foxconn and Samsung have their factories reopened. There are a lot of companies that have external factories that aren't kind of affected by this. But a lot of your motherboard manufacturers and graphics card manufacturers like Asus and MSI that rely on finishing products from these other smaller plants aren't getting those. So to give you an idea, it takes about 10 different factories to produce a motherboard and it's all finished and fitted and, and produced finally at MSI or ASUS's factory and those finishing parts aren't arriving so there is going to be a supply gap we assume it's going to be about four to six months 
that this is going to be taking place and one of the areas that's going to be most affected is GPUs. Now our encouragement alongside of this is just to take it easy, not to rush out and cause a buying frenzy because there's a shortage. Please don't do things like buying up GPUs and then reselling them on Carbonite at a profit. It's just a very dirty kind of practice right now and it's taking advantage of loss of human life and a, and a tragedy that's happening in China. So please guys, kind of behave you know, normally with your purchasing. EveTech is going to do absolutely everything it can to fulfill your orders. And as we say, there are some areas that should be relatively unaffected. EveTech has purchased a backlog of stock on motherboards and processors. So those areas should be relatively unaffected for quite a long time, but there are gonna be product shortages. We are doing everything we can to try and get in stock. It basically is their, um, their rhetoric and their voice through this channel as well, of, of what they're saying is they're going to try and do everything that they can possible to try and get your guys orders in but we we, we ask you to sort patience during this difficult time as we try and sort this out with all of our suppliers. Thank you all so much for watching we do wish you the best hopefully you guys can stay safe remember prevention is better than cure keep yourself nicely hands washed mouth and that kind of stuff try to be very hygienic at the moment and as you say if you are traveling it is in your best interest to purchase a mask and perhaps even eye goggles it does look like contact can last for up to 10 days on physical touch contact so if you guys are using you know shared like lavatories and that kind of stuff just be very conscious of where your hands are and what they're touching wishing you guys the best of luck during this difficult time and hopefully some better news next week as we continue to cover the story. Thank you and have a good day.